Hello folks out there. My name is Case Black. I am the co-leader of Team Like Your Eyes and I'm a Misfit fan designer. A lot of people ask me how to do the vector to wheel misquits. In short, VTR. And I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to do this. And as an example, I'm gonna take the misquit which I have designed myself, which will be coming in the game very soon. So I just need to open it up in my GIMP. Actually, you can uh, you can open it over here, but I gonna adjust it the quick opening now. So I just zoom a little in, and this is GIMP, the usual GIMP two point I think two point eight version for Mac, and everything is German. I'm really sorry for that, but I hope that uh, there's not so much of trouble. So what I'm gonna do now is I switch to my airbrush. I already did that, and I did the small. I did the size uh, a, bit, a little bit smaller. It starts off at 20. I already toggled it down to 10. And what you basically do is you switch between black and white in the overlay mode. You also can pick grain merge, but overlay is better. So here, here must be overlay, otherwise it's it's not working. And be sure you're on the correct layer. You can open the layer window, I think, here. I don't know, I don't know how it's, it is in Windows because I'm using Mac and Mac version is a little different. So what you basically do is you then just go over it. I should I should make a safety copy maybe. So this is my I'm working on my safety copy. So if I do a mistake. I can switch back and redo everything. So what I do is now I go in here. And what I'm basically doing is uh, you make the dark parts darker and the light parts lighter. And be sure to go on the same layer for more than just one time. So the shading of the illustrator drawing, the original drawing, is disappearing slightly. So it's like you you are adding gradients to to the drawing. Just go over the hair here. You see, it's getting a little darker. Into drawing here, probably stop here. So I have this really dark now. Probably a little too dark. I don't like the color because it's so yellowish. So now I went to white and I'm lighting, lighting this all up. And you see the glow is coming up. So that's basically how to do the VTR mask. But I'm gonna finish this. So you see how the complete drawing looks like when it's done. So this is not that easy to do because this one has to really like highlights and shadings. I probably need to do a bit adjustment. A bit a bit fake lights. I put some fake lights in here so you can still see it. Because if you're doing too dark a weird sometimes, some of weirds get lost. I'm gonna try to fix it by adding some fake lights. Sometimes shit must be done to make it look good. I added some kind of glow in the eye. Now I'm doing the pack in the face. And this cheek is a little widened. The packs fly too. On um, this one, I'll probably not be able to uh, 
make the borders disappear of the shading, but I can do off the highlights. So it is still glowing. I'm gonna make this a little darker really soon. I like this pretty dark in here because I want to pack. I want the pack to pop out, and it didn't pop in the original version, but now it comes us. So I think now you can see his face pretty well. So adding some lighting. It's really hard to light the pure wraps and the wings. It's not that easy. I should have taken an easier example than that. Well, it's more or less quite so. Oh, now you can see pretty well how the bars of the shade are disappearing. Sorry if my voice still isn't so good. I got operated a few days ago and uh, inside my mouth, and it hurt my voice a little. I'm really sorry for that. But I hope it's it's still going well. <laughs> And you can understand most stuff I'm saying. Maybe not everything. I cannot talk so loud, I'm sorry. So I made a lot of highlights on my wings. So I'm going to other wing. Usually what I do first, I do the smaller areas first and then I'm gonna switch to the bigger areas. This is one huge object. This it takes long, it takes real long to finish that one. So I want to do, I want to come far and finish the smaller parts first. So I see I've done something. And then I switch to the bigger parts. And these are really tiring, so if I do them first. I'm too tired to finish the rest of the drawings, usually. Oh, I'll paint a little over here. It's not that much of a big deal, I can fix that later. <laughs> Is that all? Oh, yeah. This was too much. For the pop here. I'm not satisfied with that point. I need to make it a little smaller. It's 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 glowing too wet. It's glowing too wet. I need to make it a little wider. So. It's a good thing about really R, you can fix everything just with black and white. So, rings are done. I'm gonna switch back to 10. And now I'm doing the last part of the candle wax, and then this one is finished. So, it's real easy, you can do it yourself. The most mistakes you guys usually do when you do this with your art, you don't paint over the same area more than once. You need, you need to go over more than once, like I do now. Usually I go over the same area for three or four times. Two times in general, and then, oh, this is a little too dark. 
And the third one I give deeper highlights or shading in. And this one's really dark here, so it's the fourth one in here. I hate, I hate these big objects, they're so tiring. But you see how easy it is. It's not much of a big deal, it's actually really easy to do. I mean, I need to make this a little darker, so it fits the rest. I'm going in with Hollis again and then this guy's finished. You see he's glowing now. He starts to go. Just make sure you're on overlay mode, you're at 200%, not 100%, it's really hard work, 100%. Zoom. Overlay or grain merge. Usually overlay is a little bit better for some crits, grain merge is the better option. Usually the darker crits, uh, for example, dark breezy cheeks. I did that one in the grain merge mode because it's too hard to do an overlay, because it's overall too dark to, do, to work with the overlay mode. And pure black and pure white, that's all you, what you actually need to do. Oh, this was too much. So, I did some tests and I zoom out now. That's looking good already, it's not completely done yet. Probably need to make a little darker in the candle. Adjustment. Oh, I forgot the light in there. So, I think he's done now. Put my highlight here. Put my highlight there. So, I think he's finished. So guys, that's him. I'm gonna export the file. See how he is. I think this looks good. So this was the small VTR tutorial I did. All in all, go to airbrush, go to overlay mode or grain merge. She also can do grain merge. Everything is German and mine, I'm sorry. But it's called grain merge overlay. Overlay is the one I prefer. This is how it in GIMP works. Photoshop is a little bit different, but I would do it in GIMP because in GIMP it's way easier and the result usually is better. Photoshop isn't always the best. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the mist crit. It's coming to the game really, really soon. 
So, okay, worst ending ever. See you guys. Bye.